welcome back, everyone. Good, uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Who knows? Where are you? Let us know, chat. Uh, my name is Alexis Bustos, and I'm here with the amazing Lenora Por Porter. And this is a special, special stream. We have Lenora here for three days, so uh, let's get, let's get going. Do you think, uh, do you think this is gonna be like the best three days of the stream? I really of the hope entire so. history of stream, because <laughs> I have that feeling. Um, well, welcome back, everyone. Hello, chat. Hello, Joe and Tim and uh, Josephine and. Let us know, guys, where you tune in from, what time is it there. We're really excited to get designing, you know. We're doing some fun stuff today. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I hope everyone's tuned in for the uh, Daily Creator Challenge right before. Maybe we can check out the schedule for the week since it's three days. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a good week. Um, I'm sure you guys had your Creative Challenge with um, with Jesse Show Showalter. Oh, my gosh. What a pro. It's a pro week. We have Paul, Elise, Jesse, Lenora all with us this week. And it's going to be this way from today, tomorrow, and the next day. Cannot wait. And uh, if you guys tune in, you know, if you guys are, you know, just chilling and maybe you're not, not doing the creative challenge, that's all good. Maybe you're just listening in and while you work, work on some other projects. There's a way you can get involved. In about 30 minutes, we're going to have a chat to win opportunity for um, some pretty dope sticker mule stickers. So, there's always a way you can get involved with this chat. Let us know if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, I just, I love, I love the chat. These guys <laughs> are great. We have, oh, 9 p.m. in Nigeria. Hi mm. from India, New Zealand, Chicago. What's up, you guys? All right, I love it. Good energy in the chat. Yeah, awesome. I see some people I know, too. See really? Shizuki, one of my friends from Miami. Nice. Yeah, DeAndre, he's also an Instagram follower, so hi. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's right. You have your own set yeah. of followers coming in. Well, awesome. Well, I'm excited to learn everything about you. Yeah. Why don't you let us know what we're working on today? Perfect. So um, we're working on a plant app. So I don't know how many of you all, um, you know, have plant funerals quite a bit. But um, yeah, basically, I'm so tired of dealing with not knowing how to take care of my plants, not knowing how to just make things easier when it comes to um, keeping things alive when it comes to my plants. So yeah, I wanted to build out just a little small um, wireframe about that, around that. Um, I thought it would be cool. And um, yeah. Awesome. I can't wait. I mean, I know I've done my research on you. I know every, <laughs> I know some things about you and you have some pretty, you have a pretty cool history Maybe we could, you could tell us a little bit about how you got started and where oh, you yeah. work now and what you're doing. Yeah, so um, before anything tech related, I was a teacher. So that was oh. amazing. Um, I taught ninth graders and it was, to me, one of the most challenging, but wow, ninth worthy grade. Yeah, wow. experience that I've ever had. So yeah, um, most of my kids now, I call them my kids because they're my kids. Um, they're all grown now. And I went to one of their graduations like probably two years ago. Wow. And I'm like, wow, okay, um, I have grown kids now. <laughs> yeah, wow. um, I still support them. I still follow up with them, seeing how they're doing. And um, yeah, that was before any of this tech life. Um, I went to a coding boot camp in Miami. Should I, should I go down to your, yeah. your history? Yeah, go down, yeah. Oh, awesome. I love your website, by the way. <laughs> I think you. it's super smooth, you guys. Check out our website. <laughs> it's dope. We'll keep referring back to it, I'm yes. sure, during the three days, because it's, oh, yeah. it's great. Thank you. But I'll let you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I went to a coding boot camp and learned quite a bit about code. Now, I know I'm a designer, but that had nothing to do with the, the start of my learning. I started with code, and as time went on, um, how could I put this? I went to a company tour and saw the UX oh, department, and I'm like, uh-oh. I wow. think that's definitely something I want. I mean, yeah, the coding was great, but I felt like if I can get more involved in design, because I've been a designer all my life, mm -hmm. I've been creative, I've been a painter, I've always doing something creative, and I'm like, how do I mesh those worlds together? How do I um, bridge the gap? So I went the product design route, and yeah, even with that product design route, I was kept going back and forth to like front end development. All right, let's design front end. So I'm like, Lenora, is that you? Is that like, is that little middle ground you? Are you more of a UX engineer instead of just a designer? Oh, wow. Who are you? Who are you? Wait, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So yeah. The self-discovery it takes to oh, find where you fit. It took a while. <laughs> I, hey, so appreciate it though. Yeah. Cause now you have a, you're in a place where you can like be the best you can be. Yeah. 
Like, wow, family. that's amazing. Yeah, that's really awesome. Susanna asks, like, what did you teach? So was some of your teaching before you got into like this, you know, design tech world? Was it part yeah. of that as well? Or? Um, so it was mathematics. Okay, so I taught so. intensive math um, to ninth graders and. The way I taught was definitely around technology. I'm like, okay. nope, I'm going to use gaming because I was a huge gamer. So I'm like, I'm going to use gaming to make sure these concepts, you know, stick. I'm going to use different things around coding. Um, there was like a coding, um, what is it, basketball game that you have to create nice. where you have to do Pythagorean theorem. It, it was great. And I would put it on the big screen. I'm like, all right, come on, y'all. You know, let's, let's play this game. Oh, and wow. it's funny how, like, games help students, I guess, capture um, the real concepts instead of like the bare minimum general ideas it's like oh that's why I had to do that okay mm. cool I see it now um, the books didn't really do that so. amazing well we're about to get schooled uh, intensive math yes yeah well um, <laughs> I was creative all my life and math was a very hard subject so we'll see <laughs> how this stream goes um, don't teach any math please <laughs> I won't <laughs> okay awesome well thank you for that background and if you know we're, she, uh, Lenora is going to be on the stream for three days, so if everyone, ha if everyone ha has any questions about how she got where she is, please yeah. don't, feel free to ask. She'll be here. Check out her website. I'm sure they can reach you oh, yeah. for those types of questions. Yeah. Um, and we're going to learn more as time goes on. Oh, my God. Also, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. <laughs> Thank <Great>. you. <laughs> Love it. All, All right, right. I'll let you get, get going. Okay. So we can get started um, on my screen. So I kind of broke down the three days around um, the very first day is around planning and wireframing. I thought it would be cool to just focus on how I planned this out. I mean, it was a lot of just like testing things out, going to my Instagram and asking different questions like, hey, uh, what do you all think about this? Um, I'm sure you've all seen my um, my wireframes, my storyboarding all morning long because that's all I've been posting. Like, hey, I, I need to like try to figure out if this is okay. But yeah, anyway, first day. Planning and wireframing. Day two, um, it's going to be around design systems and the high fidelity design. And then day three, I want to really dig deep into prototyping and hopefully, nice. if I'm able to create some code behind that, I would be totally Whoa, happy. Dude, that's yeah. so mean. You're really going to level up the stream <laughs> if you can get your prototype to be an actual working like prototype oh and not just a, you know, I'm animation. Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, we try. got... <laughs> I'm excited. I'm about to, yeah, learn a lot. Um, Joe says, math is awesome. My first degree was in mathematics and economics. There you go. <laughs> math to design happens. Yep. It totally it happens. happens. Exactly. Awesome, exactly. awesome, awesome. People right. are gasping. Gasp. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh that's your, towards your prototyping. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, like, show you some of the plans that I kind of created around this. I think it's here. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, so. Nice. Let me get my little book out so I could follow along with this. Because I just kind of, one of my favorite things to do is just go right into my little moleskin mm -hmm. and draw out things. Remember I told you I love to draw. Um, so I would great just... great sketches. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I literally like draw out ideas around how I'm thinking about the user from this standpoint. I want to create stories behind why I'm deciding to create something in the way I'm creating it. Mm. So the very first user that I'm thinking of, their issue would be around a dying plant. So the first thing that comes up is Lisa's plant is dying. Boo hoo, what, what do you do at that point? So Lisa searches for um, help and finds an app. Hopefully she finds my app. And then Lisa, um, what I gotta read what I put here. <laughs> Lisa signs up and diagnoses her plant. So as soon as you sign up, you can take a picture of your, app, uh, your plant and then that plant will be, I guess, identified and say, oh, it's an aloe plant or it's a palm tree or whatever. Oh, I love um, that. Yeah. It kind of reads like a like a full like movie storyboard, right? Like <laughs> yeah. just go straight into like sto storyboarding, not necessarily like wireframes. It's like, no, yeah. that's later. We're going to like lay out not just this journey, but yes. like a full tale. Yeah. I love exactly. that. It really, it really makes it easier to digest, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then when it comes to the wireframes, it's just so much easier to kind of like place things mm -hmm. and think about mm -hmm. how you want to like reveal the screens um, based on that user. Oh, that's so, awesome. Um, yeah. So we can like, I guess I can keep reading on. So the next step is Lisa receives instructions on how to cure her plant. So you'll have like a list of things. Um, 
maybe it'll say, hey, you need to, you know, propagate or you need to cut off some of the leaves or you need to put it near some more sunlight. You need to give it more water. It'll have some kind of diagnosis based on um, what she says the plant looks like. If she says, oh, it's withering or, you know, maybe it has bugs in it. Those would be different uh, cures or solutions for that particular plant mm -hmm. and that issue. Um, the next step is Lisa sit, um, spends time doctoring her plant. So if you notice, like the very first picture, the plant is like really like withery. The, um, that picture there, the plant is actually coming alive. It's kind of standing up a little bit, but not much. It's kind of like, oh, I think you're watering me. Great. Um, and then the last one, after six weeks, Lisa's plant is thriving. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have it showing as if it's um, fully I guess back to health because right. I don't feel like six weeks is enough. <laughs> so, I mean, not in my experience. No, definitely my not. plant still looks withery. <laughs> yeah, no comment on the plant. Plant children. Exactly. Mine, are, mine are struggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so that is the user flow for the dying um, plant user. Um, then you have the new plant parent. So, they are the new plant mom, plant dad or you know whatever and basically they get a new plant maybe it's a gift and they're like okay now what do I do with this <laughs> um, so at that point they're kind of like okay let me look for different um, Google searches maybe mm -hmm. I can find um, an application or some kind of solution to help me care for this plant so basically I'm saying hopefully they use our app and they could um, basically get a how do I call it? Like a schedule to keep them on board of when to water it, when to cut the plants, mm, when to, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that is that. That's so. interesting. So, so what you've done is you've laid it out according to you've cr created the storyboards based on the journey a different type of user would take. Yeah. With the different variables of how their plant is. Exactly. Got because it. you know everyone won't use this plant app the same. Okay. Um, That's true. Yeah. That's true. And you want it to range. You want it to have users be able to come in at whatever state they're in. Exactly. Yeah. And hopefully they don't have any more dying plants. Yes. Hopefully <laughs> not. Yeah. Um, so the third case that I really feel like I may not get to is more of the garden assistant. Now, my mm. family, um, we grew up on a farm in Monticello, Florida. So I don't know why I don't have the green thumb. Don't ask me. <laughs> but they all were farmers. So I'm like, wow, this is so fun how they just learned their land to the T. And it's just, I wish I had that kind of skill, right. but I don't have it. So now I'm going to create an IoT device <laughs> that has everything like, I'm looking I have for. other skills. Yes, I have other <laughs> skills now. So yeah, um, you can kind of see the lady kneeling down. Um, you know, it just says Kate loves to garden outdoors. She wants to have a big harvest this year. So that can be anything. That can be strawberries. That can be, you know, a lot of people, they want to have like home gardens. So they don't have to go to the store all the time. So small things like onions or uh, chives or I mean, right. whatever, you know? I love but it. But it's outside. You know, what this, <laughs> you know what storyboarding also does, I'm just realizing, it gives you, it kind of inspires of course, it inspires you to design for someone or something, but yeah. also along this storyline, you can come up with different feature ideas, yes. which I've never even thought of with storyboarding, yes. you know? Like, yeah. not just the journey, yeah. right? It's like, oh, also, like, think of these other things this person yeah. might do. Might want to do. Yeah. You guys, creative. Exactly. <laughs> creative brains, so fun. Um, um, that's really great. Yeah, so I saw this um, IoT device, and I just kind of, like, drew it out. And basically, this device, um, you could like stick it down in the soil basically. Mm. And from there, it will test your soil. It'll like track oh, cool. your location. So it'll say, oh, it's about to rain today. So you don't have to worry about watering your plant. The earth will water your plant. <laughs> um, they'll have different things that it'll measure. So I put like monitor her soil, um, weather conditions, a monitor actual plant growth. It will basically do that work for you. All you'll need to do is take that data and um, plug it into our application and basically boom, you have a working system to help you care for your plant um, in the most optimal way Love possible. It. Love it. Yeah, so I kind of just wrote out those storyboards uh, or those storylines first. Nothing at all, no wireframes, no, hey, how's the button gonna look? I didn't care about any of that. It's just kind of like, what am I thinking this will be? Um, who are the users and, and what would I think they will need? 
Um, so then I moved, like, I moved on to like the tone, the feel, um, what values that I want this application to have. Mm-hmm. So usually I just do like a word dump, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my word dump was, I want it to be friendly because if I'm already upset that my plan has died, I do not want you to bash me. I want you to be comforting. I want you to heal me. Right. I want, you know, helpful tips and I want encouragement. So that's the first thing that I put. Um, the second part was educational. So um, I don't think I talked about that much in the storyboarding, but one of the main things that I wanted as a user was to be able to maybe take a few courses on how to care for my aloe vera plant um, or take a yeah. few, I, get, I don't know, like look for resources that will teach me how to care for a certain plant um, based on my location. I remember going to Aruba probably, oh gosh, uh, in July last year. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Have you ever been? No. To okay, so. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> like, tell me more. First of all, <laughs> Aruba's terrain was desert like. Oh, wow. Which is weird because it's in the middle of the ocean. It's like a tropical Caribbean island. So wow, I'm like, wow, how wow. are we? Well, okay. That just like made me think of something about for this app. <laughs> Locations. Yes. Ge- geography really determines. Yes. So these are the things that, yeah. you know, me, when I was in school, we used to do this thing called like, um, we used to body storm. Ooh. So we used to act out our user like narrative. So doing oh, this, wow. but we'd like act it out. Like, what would you need? <laughs> you know, like, well, it's raining here all the time. I don't need an app yeah. to help me water my plants because yeah. all my plants are fine. So geography really plays a oh, part my gosh. of this. This, you know, you didn't have to talk about education for this to, to pick up on that yeah, vibe because that exactly. was already happening yeah. with this vibe for sure, for sure. Yeah, it was kind of implied. Um, um, Susanna has a little uh-oh. comment. She goes, I, I could so use this app. I have a love hate relationship with nature. <laughs> yes, me yeah. too. So I'm creating it. Yep, love it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I went to a farm. I was in Aruba, and he explained how a lot of the plants would die out because oh, wow. of the tropical weather they had. Yeah. But it was different than the normal tropical weather that we're used to. Like Miami is always sunny, always rainy, but Aruba is always dry. Fascinating. And it has like tropical plants on it, and I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> How do we keep these things alive? So they had all these watering irrigation systems that they would oh, use. And mm. I mean, I was like, wow, you have to like create water for yourself because it will get so dry and you can't support your plants. That's so, so fascinating. It's yeah. fascinating. I mean, like, <laughs> it's a lot of these things, all these systems kind of like that exist that were kind of yeah. like, it's interesting bringing that into something like an app for an everyday user and drawing on your experience of like how you see it you being used on a very large scale yeah. or in the world around you. You know, these are the things that you wouldn't, we wouldn't be discussing this if you had wireframes up right yeah. now. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it, it wouldn't, and it's just as important to kind of bring into your product, your device, your app, whatever. So yeah, yeah. this is good. It's going to be. A well mean and like a meaningful app. And I love it. <laughs> yes. Um, the third word that I kept like thinking was like nurturing. Mm. So I wanted to be more goal oriented, growth mindset. Um, so while I was a teacher, I was basically a. Do you know what city year is? Yeah, I'm a city year. <gasps> Perfect. Yeah, okay, so I was a city year member. Aww. Yeah. Um, and then later on, I switched over to like actually teaching, which was awesome. Either way, all of it was great. Nice. Um, but one of the main core values was have a growth mindset. Um, um, you're dealing with students that um, really had hard times growing up. And it's just kind of like if you don't understand who you're dealing with, at least have a growth mindset. Mm-hmm. You don't have to know you know, what happened to them in their childhood right, or right, you know, right, how right, to right. cure it. You're not there to cure them. You're there to just be a supportive person for them and help them heal. What an amazing thing to bring into like, this <laughs> plant carrying app. I, interesting, these words, you know, they're also really important for so many different things. Obviously, you have tone, tone, feel, and values. I feel like really drive so many things, not just how the, it's going to work, but also how it's going to look yeah. and sound yeah. and how you're going to engage with your user, right? I love I love growth mindset as yeah. like a value or maybe like an yeah. overarching word. The other thing these words help with that I've always noticed for when people are on the stage, usually it ends up as like the name. Yeah. You know, your names come from these like brainstorms um, yes. of like, what is it? What does it mean? And it's usually like a combo of all the names with a weird like you or no somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I still don't know the name of this app, to be honest. So I mean. Well, that's something maybe the chat can help yeah, with. Yeah, like, maybe, maybe you can help. Can these are some, here's, here's the tone, feel, and values app, app uh, chat. <laughs> maybe you can help us come up with a name. Um, we have some, a lot of people talking about um, Queen of Miami. Oh. 
Wait, huh? Um, I don't know. Is that is that something? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything <laughs> about that. Um, <laughs> yes, and there's a lot about, you know, talking about climate change. Yeah, climate change is real. So the change of weather in different geographies is real. Thank you, chat. Oh, gosh. Oh, Queen uh, of Miami. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, in the tech sphere, uh -huh. I guess I am known in Miami. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is, it, is that your name? No. Okay. I don't call myself right. that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll move past it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right. So let's keep going. Oh, the last word is prosperity. So just making sure we feel prosper. What's the, how do I say that? Prosperous. Yes, prosperous. Boom. There he goes. Um, just <laughs> making sure we feel as though we're moving ahead. Um, I didn't want to create an app that made me feel like I was being stagnant. I wanted something every day telling me, hey, do this, do that, or make sure you, you know, fix these things up. Oh, that's who that is. Okay, yeah, on Instagram. Hi. Um, oh yeah, so that's basically all the toned values and the feels that I was trying to um, cultivate Got it. with this application. Okay, very cool. So let me go to the next thing. Mm. All right, so wait, did I put this? Ah, oh, man, did I? I didn't put this one there. Let me see. Yeah, I did. Perfect. All right. Ooh. Let's get to this <laughs> and not the other thing. Um, so, yeah, I moved on to more of a mind map at that point. Um, I got the user, I guess, storyboarding out the way, and I got the way I wanted to feel when I look at the app and how I want to feel when I'm using the app. At this point, it's kind of like, all right, brained up all the features. Go. <laughs> wow. What are we going to... Um, Such an organized brain dump, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish someone had talked about in the chat, like, I wish my notebooks were as clean as hers. Oh, what? It's like, same. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's great handwriting. It's sloppy. It's <laughs> sloppy as I don't know what. I kind of, I don't know. I, I tried, but when you start going and mm -hmm. then you start, like, squeezing words in, it's like, oh, I forgot that. Oh. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I started off with the main theme, which is my plan app. Insert whatever name you want. And of course, every app has an account creation. So that's number one. I knew I was gonna have to like start the year. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, all apps have a settings and a preference um, or preferences. So those are the two things I knew kind of wasn't gonna change. I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, dashboard, of course, but I, I knew those things could be reversible in a way. Right, you don't know maybe what's gonna. Yeah, when is that gonna be gonna first? What's gonna live there? Or, yeah, right. exactly. So um, let's start off with account creation. So with the account creation, I just put, okay, whatever I do, create a profile. That is why you're there. Whatever the account creation is, even that if that's a quiz or if that's some kind of form, whatever it is, make sure you gather certain things about this user. So we'll need their name for sure because um, there's a part in the application where I want to address them by name mm -hmm. and personalize it. Say, hi, Cassandra. Welcome to that. Yeah. I need their name to do that. So I'm like, I need a name. Um, I wanted to make sure that I capture at least one of their plants. Right. Um, you never know. They may not have any. Hopefully they do. <laughs> hopefully if they're downloading this app, they have yeah. some plants. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> exactly. Or maybe not. Maybe they're. Maybe it's like a, they want to try it out. Maybe exactly. they're just looking. Maybe it inspires them to get, yeah. to get a plant. Who yeah. Knows? This mind map made me think of that. It's kind of like, oh, well, maybe. Because I only had like three questions on the quiz. Mm. And then I thought, oh, what if they just want to um, just use Browse. the app in preparation? Yeah. yeah. Saying, I want to be a plant mom or dad or parents. Aspiring plant parents. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, that's a fun I like idea. that. I yeah. that down. Because <laughs> I did not name it that. So that's shorter than what I named it. Um, and yeah, I also wanted to capture the location. So that can be, there's different ways to capture location. You can ask them for it. You can um, do those little push notifications that says, hey, you know, we need your location. Right, right, um, right. Use GPS. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to capture all of these things. Um, maybe I should also add email in there as well to maybe, you know, actually create an account mm. and have the email associated with it. Anyway, these mind maps can be explored over and over and over again. Um, dashboard. So this is a home. So this is where everything will live. Your learning progress would be there. So let's say I just got an aloe plant. My app sets me up with a learning module for aloe plants. And here's how I care for an aloe plant in Miami or an aloe plant in Michigan or aloe plant in New York while it's cold. Really cool. um, 
so yeah, here's my learning module for that. And then I want it to have like plant parent duties or tasks. I just called it that because I'm like, these are the things that this person will need to do every day to take care of this plant. Where every week, you know, some plants you don't have to do things yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe every week is fine. Um, and then I wanted a community aspect. Now this is, this is not MVP. <laughs> right. This is not MVP. I think the bare minimum will definitely not have community involved in it, like a social type of app where you right, could take right. pictures and say, oh, look at my baby and, you know, share pictures back and forth. And, oh, your baby has a little spot. Let me show you how to take care of your baby. Um, we, we're not going to do the community, but I think. <laughs> so gentle. Such I know. Gentle words too. <laughs> has such loving words to this plant community. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, in the future, though, we can probably do something around community. Mm. Um, but I just thought to add it for future iterations. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard yeah. when you come up, when you have these ideas and you have to like really stay with their MVP. Yes. It's the, the chat I was talking about earlier. Like, when do you stop? When do you stop exploring? When do you just start going in and designing? And I just, I've always believed it's a, it's just a hodgepodge of a process. Yeah. You have to do all of these things, but there's okay. no reason you can't go back. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of community in about a min two minutes, we have our chat and win. Yes opportunity for 100 free sticker meal stickers. They're three by three, I believe. And um, we need to come up with something the chat can talk about. Maybe like, how many plants do you have? Are you a plant parent? That's what we'll chat about. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, I wanted the last piece to be more of a tip of the day, some kind of fun fact saying, hey, did you know in Miami, or did you know in Chicago, plants grow at this rate of speed? I don't know, some kind of fun fact about, you know, you, your plant, and where you are. Mm. Um, learning modules, it'll be based on whatever plant that you choose. You'll have care techniques, soil type, pruning, potting, watering techniques. If you need to quarantine the plant, how to do that. Um, if the plant has certain bugs, what to do around that, certain sicknesses. Um, maybe quarantine bug and sickness can all go in the same bucket. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, that's what I was thinking of when I thought about the learning modules. And the very last one is the help phase. So let's say I want to ask an expert gardener or ask the community. I could ask questions around how to take care of my plant based on, you know, its I like needs. that. I like so. this. I, you know, I, I really like to ask, ask an expert. Yeah. Expert. It's, I think it's like really gonna, like that's the difference makes. Yeah. Cause like I, I can try different things. I can repot my plant, but yeah, it's really gonna depend. Yep. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're getting down to the chat and win, you guys. Some talk people are talking about. Um, uh, let's see. I like to eat plants. I, yeah, uh -oh. we love to eat plants. <laughs> it's, it's delicious. Hello, hello, everybody who's just joining us. Great time wow. to just join us. All right, in about five seconds, we're gonna talk about. You're gonna chat. You're gonna win. You're gonna chat about plant care. Maybe we're gonna chat about how many plants you have. <laughs> if you are an aspiring plant parent, let us know. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be right back. All right, keep chatting. Maybe you'll win a plant. You won't. You're not going to win a plant. <laughs> you're going to get stickers. But you could put a plant on those stickers. All righty. Kiki has nine plants, and three are really struggling. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really worried about them. Yes. <laughs> um, Jenny has about five plants. Great. Good numbers, everyone. Wow. How many plants do you have? One. One? That's lovely. Well, the other ones just went away. OK, OK. Yeah. They were all my like my moving into my new apartment plants. And then to see them just go away just made me really sad. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> I have way too many plants in my house. <laughs> really, yeah. how many you have? I think I have like nine. What? Yeah. <gasps> Michael, congratulations. Congratulations, you've done it. You've won 100 Ooh. free sticker meal stickers, three by three, they go on your laptops. Maybe not, not our laptops, water bottles. Maybe you could put a plant on one of them. <laughs> Who knows? And everyone else in the chat, you have also won, I believe, Adobe Live 20, not 19 anymore, because it's 20. We'll get you a pretty awesome consolation prize, but still pretty good. I believe it's 10 stickers for a dollar. So everyone go get stickers, put a plant on them. Ten, Lisa has 10 plants. Wow. Wow. Good, good for you. Oh my wow. gosh. Everyone, 
10 plants, take care of all of them, four succulents. You guys are doing great, everyone. This app is for us. This is, this is your plant community. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So back to the app. And congrats to Michael. Yeah. All right. So the next thing that I did was create more of a happy path. Um, I know I've created about maybe three or four users so far, and those users are the new plant parents. So these are the people who never, well, maybe they had a plant before, but in their eyes, they're new. Um, they're new to the entire plant parent um, feel. Um, the second people, the second user is those users that at least had one plant before. They've done this before. They may not know exactly how to take care of their plant, but you know, this is something that they really, really um, want help with. The third is, hey, my plant is dying. <laughs> help me. <laughs> so that's the third user. And then the very fourth user is those who are like, I don't even have a plant, but I think this is great. And I just want to join because I may want a plant one day. Just a fan of plants. Yeah. I'm just a fan. an admirer from afar. <laughs> yeah. I like plants. I'm not fully committed to having one just yet. yet. <laughs> They're fun at my friend's play. <laughs> Oh my god! Like babies are <laughs> it's dogs. It's so real. Or it's real. Yeah. Some people. I mean, plant babies are a thing. Yeah, I saw like a few people would actually, you know, do those um, plant babysitting kind of things when they go really? to town. Yeah. Oh. Oh, please take care of my plant one. I would love to be a plant babysitter. Oh my yes. I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh my gosh! Alrighty, so. I wanted to go down the path of the new plant parent. So I know today I may not have time to do all the different use cases, but I thought maybe at least the new plant parent okay. would be would cover all the bases. Um, I know what another user that I would want to see is the one where it's like, I'm, my plant's dying, yeah. I need help. Um, but yeah, I wanted to at least start off with the new plant parent. And then, yeah, so the very first screen is more of a splash screen. So I called it Sprout. That's Aww. what I kind of thought the name That's would a be. Sweet name. Yeah, um, but I wasn't too sold on it. I'm like, ah, uh, I right. need something else. <laughs> but yeah, that was my idea. But yeah, whoever wants to give me a yeah, plan. We get, you know, it's you know what I love about the three day stream is actually you can get some really good brainstorming yeah. going for plant names uh, or plant names, yeah. app <laughs> names about plants. Um, I can as the as the names come up in the chat, I'll write some down maybe for yes. you and then we'll you know I'll then play we can with them. come back. I like Sprout. Sprout's a good name. Okay. All um, right. But I've so I've seen some of the chat um, brainstorming some names for you. Perfect. So um, all right. So perfect. I'll wait for those names then. Um, so yeah, you start from the splash screen and then the next step is you have like a little quiz that will ask you, you know, what kind of user are you? So those same four users that we talked about before, the new plant mom or the new plant parent. Mm -hmm. um, the second one is, hey, I need help. My plant is dying. Third one, I've had a plant before. I just need some help. And then the fourth one, um, I never had a plant. I don't have a plant now, but I do want one in the future. Mm -hmm. So you have those four. And remember with this use case, this is for the new plant parent. So I put the little button at the bottom saying, we've already selected the new plant parent. The next one is to take a photo. So I saw a few apps. I think it's called a uh, plant identifier or something. Mm -hmm. Some kind of like app like that, that will actually identify the actual plant. So I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I'm not sure how we'll identify like a dead plant. Yeah, we don't know if we'll have yeah. the technology. Maybe, <laughs> maybe soon. I don't know. Maybe there'll be some sort of yeah. AI that can read what a plant was. It, yeah, exactly. So this is definitely the happy path because I'm like, I don't think if I go down that path, the right. photo you're going to stay in a more work. positive yeah. kind of trajectory exactly. for, your, for your flow. Yeah. So you have to um, take a photo and it'll scan the actual you know plant you have and tell you hey this is an aloe plant or this is a palm tree or this is whatever so i have like these little loading screens up here that will say hey we're searching our database blah blah, blah. oh we found one welcome your new aloe plant or your new aloe vera plant um, and they'll just you know put up a little aloe vera photo and you know cool. welcome your aloe vera maybe ask you to name it and then um you know you accept that this is your new baby <laughs> so the next step is, what if that did not work? What if I scanned it and this identifier can't tell me mm -hmm, what kind of plant mm -hmm. it is? So I call this the not so happy path. I mean, it's not like it's not happy, but it's not as happy as the first one. 
So basically, you get to search for your um, plant name. So we have a database full of plants. Um, you could search for your name here, or if you if you don't know the actual name of the plant, maybe you can go through and put. It's a palm tree, but I don't know exactly what kind, or it's an aloe vera, but I don't know exactly what kind, or it's a rose bush, I don't know exactly what kind, whatever. You know, you could put um, your different use cases here. That's why I have these little boxes. I thought maybe you can like click on those in case you don't really know the name. And then um, just some search results here at the very bottom. Um, now, based on state, all these will not show at once. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. You know, when you're wireframing, it's static. So I kind of put everything there so I don't know what I was going to do there. But that's, the, like, it, wireframing can't give you the different states that it's in unless you draw out, okay, here's state Every one. Every single state, here's state, yeah. Yeah, and I did not want to do that. So. Some people do. <laughs> yeah. But it's, I mean. I that's not that's not what you're trying to do right no. now, right? You're just trying to, like, get through the flow. Exactly. General flow. So we can see, you know, it's yeah. sketch. Exactly, that's it. Um, you have your loading screens again, so we're looking through our database, and oh, we can't find your plant. Um, let's search for it. After you figure out what your plant is and you accept that that's your plant, you'll go back to that congratulations screen, and you'll go right back to the happy path um, saying, congratulations, you just loaded your, uh, what other plant name is there? <laughs> Um, uh, an aloe. You're using an aloe yeah, example. That's perfect. Good, yeah. Aloe is the name. <laughs> um, so yeah, the next one is more of a profile, like a plant profile. Mm. So this plant profile will have a picture of your plant. Um, you could also add more pictures if you want. It'll have your um, location and to let you know, hey, this, is, this plant lives in this location. Um, here's the mode. So I was thinking of like different modes that we could um, sign up for. So if cool. you input an actual plant, you can either say, yes, it's healthy. Don't give me any kind of quarantining, you know, instructions. This is healthy. Just give me how to water it every day, how to prune it, how to cut the leaves, whatever. Um, but if it's sick, then I would want different instructions. Right. If it is like a harvest type of... I like of, that. I like mode. I like yeah. the... Uh, where, where is... Plant, like, where is your plant at? State, yeah. Always. Always knowing. Exactly. Okay. Um... Cool. Yeah, and if it's, you know, more of a, a plant that will um, maybe grow fruit or something that you want to harvest, um, it's a harvest mode, and then there's just a normal growth mode that's kind of like, okay, there's nothing wrong with it. I just want it to be fuller. I want it to look better. Because um, right now I have a plant like, a, I don't really know the name. Is it Golden Potheos? I'm not sure. I, I know it's a long up. vine. <laughs> And it's so skinny. It has like golden pothos. Yeah, I think that's yeah. Oh. Devil's ivy. That's the other name for it. Good to know. Yeah. So I have one of those, and it's cool. definitely not as full as that. Okay. So okay. I'm like, can I get like a growth <laughs> mode where it's like I just want my plant to look healthy and plump and big? Right now, it just looks like I exist. Okay. <laughs> we want we want like. <laughs> Thriving. Yes. You want thriving, not just growing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I can put thriving there. Okay. That'll okay. be a better mode. Maybe. Maybe. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, plants can just maintain. Yeah. And so for some people, just having maintaining their plant is great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you can just get it to the next week. Yes. Um, but sometimes people want to really make their plants thrive. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, and then the last thing is just info about the plant. So you need to wear this plant two times a day, or two times a week and you need to make sure it has light sun and whatever other instructions that come with plants. <laughs> Peter has a really great point. It's like, we, I would use season instead of mode. Because mm. mode feels like a programming word. Ah, uh, yeah, my programming word. There mind. you go. Yeah, but I like But I like, like season, that's yeah. kind of cool. That's cute, I like that. Yeah, I like also, season. you've had a lot, we'll, we'll get into these when maybe when, while you're at wireframe, a but a lot of <laughs> names coming through. Chat, you guys are on fire. <laughs> With the with the plant names or the plant app names, yes. I should say. All right, so I made just this quick little dashboard, um, just very fast. Just a little profile over here on the right. Um, you know, the date January twenty first, which is today. Um, hello, Cassandra. I'm calling this person by name because I took their name from one of the screens I had before. Um, and then here's your apps or your plant submit. Um, and then from here, you can have like little notifications that says, hey, you need to do this thing for this particular app. I mean, keep calling it an app, plant. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of like threw this together just to see how 
How it um, will look. Yeah, how it will look. Yeah. So is this, is this, um, this is essential in your process? Yes. Excellent. Yes. And do you feel like a lot of these sketch iterations end up to be looking like your wireframes? Oh, no. Or are they, okay, well, oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> like, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, no, because, you know, after I see it, I'm right. like, that doesn't feel right. Sure, sure. Um, and then, you know, if I do a prototype or something like that, and I start, like, pressing through it, I'm like, oh, no, that's... That feels even yeah, weirder. Okay. on the programming side, this will not work like this. Um, this doesn't mesh up well with React or whatever oh, wow, language I'm using. Oh, wow, Okay, that's... I can't wait to get... <laughs> <laughs> those, so. are really, those are the tricks and tips you're about to really yeah. kind of... A lot of designers have not honed in on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm sure you've seen that, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, so let's jump into the screens. Um, so I kind of just made this quick design system, like a wireframing design system. Do not judge it. This is just like my colors and things I'm gonna be grabbing to make the grayscaled wireframe. Um, just a few. I love you. It's like a mini. I love it. <laughs> I love your mini like wireframing design system. Chat, yeah. I don't know if you guys do this as well, but I think it's I think it's a great idea. Yeah. I tried it. I'm trying to do that more with my wireframes. Yeah. Um, because I tend to throw in a color, like color. some sort of color. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, this is not the point. <laughs> um, so hard, so hard. So this is yeah. great to keep you like on track and focus, Yeah, keep right? me, you know, honest with myself. And, you know, to me, I feel like there needs to be some kind of like, the same way that you will make a design kit for high fidelity, it should be one for wireframing. Ah. Um, people don't really do that though. I uh, noticed. Some people don't. I mean, yeah. I think it definitely helps with consistency, yeah, and we're probably going to see that really soon, like yeah. how clean her wireframes are going to be because she has a design system in yeah. place, um, and it's just easier, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, so let us start. Um, let me get my little notes up so at least I can follow this. Perfect. All right, so the very first thing that I do is, of course, I'll make the splash screen. So. Um, I'm just gonna like fill it in with my gray. So you can either grab this gray or you could go into the assets. I think that's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you could create these colors. Boom. Um, and we'll be doing this definitely tomorrow when we actually create our design system. Got it. Oh, I didn't mean to put that color. I mean, it's there now there. if you need it. Yeah, it can be there, it's fine. Uh, this, yeah. So then, well, I'll do, I can also like add in these little um, icons too and make them, I guess this can be their own little component. I'll put, call this um, photo album. Yeah, speaking of design case. systems, yeah, even, so a lot of people I feel like transition between having their, um, a different, completely different artboard space for their design systems. Um, when you can also just kind of, next to you kind of have your own miniature like this is just for wireframing you know like this isn't final anything but look how easy it is to like bring over your assets and components and colors and kind of make it feel a little more official um it's kind of it's kind of great oh my goodness yeah we're so many names so many names <laughs> yeah i'll throw some out here just for you to, to hear them all right we'll write them we'll write them out maybe tomorrow or something but here's some Plant Parenthood. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Planted Parenthood is another mm. one. Um, just Bud. So maybe like Buddy. Maybe that's what this person was going mm. for. Bud, Buddy. Um, plant Snap. Oh, Plant Snap. Because photos, taking yeah. pictures of plants. Um, I put okay. down Sprout because I still think it's a good name. Yeah. Um, plant Dex. So like an index of plants. Mm. Thank you, chat. It's good. <laughs> like um, little, little Green Giant. Oh, I love it. That yeah. reminds me of the beans. Yeah, the beans. Yeah. <laughs> um, plant, plant IO, I believe. Mm. Chat. So hopefully, I got the one. Plant dash IO. Uh, green plant, greener, and then greener thumb is the last one. Mm. So mm. keep going with them, guys. I'm writing them all down. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I'll just put plant oh, uh, name here <laughs> for now until we like nail one. Uh, I'll put that as a white. All right. And now we can actually start making some um, font suggestions as well. This one's not as popular, but I like it. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Um, Mont Montserrat? Is that how to say it? Um, I never know how to say font names, except Helvetica. So yeah, <laughs> font names are silly. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> Some people's font names are really silly, so it's all good. Yeah. Same, however, this one. You yeah, can also, exactly. When you actually, if you bring it into character styles, you know. Yeah, you that's can, what I'm gonna do exactly. I'm gonna. You can even rename the name yeah. it has on. I think it just starts what? with the app name. Yeah, I think you can rename them. To kind of be like header. Yeah. Okay. So let me do. All right, I can probably make this. I don't want to make this an H1. I'm just gonna create app. Maybe app name, header, app, app name. name. Yeah, because just in case I want something else to be the header. I usually do lowercase because um, I've learned in coding or programming. Yes. <laughs> when you make those capitals and you make all these weird hyphens and everything like that, it takes longer to type it out. Mm. So whenever I'm trying to find something, I'll have to press cap lock, blah, 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 blah. cap lock again, hyphen. Blah, blah. So when you when you name files or when you name yeah. anything? When I name files, I name anything, honestly. I'll just always a name hyphen it. Or the hyphen or the, the, like the underscore? I'll really? Or anything is just gonna yeah, mess I would, up. Okay. Yeah, my thing is I'll make it lowercase for sure. Okay, lowercase for so sure. So whenever this I need good. to. I'm write these <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I need to search for it, you know, I just have to just start typing. I don't mm. have to press the cap or shift. I don't have to make an extra button click. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. These, are the, these are the practical <laughs> tips as, as designers, you know, when sending things over to our yeah. the dev teams. I hate those long names. So. Oh, gosh. But yeah. Someone out there has the long, like, someone out there is renaming all of their files right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we can also add, well, I don't want to add a grid right now because I really want to do the grid when we get into the design system. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, um, these are just digital sketches, yeah, right? Yeah, just can... get it there, get it done. Um, so I usually just copy my boards because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. Um, I also rename these boards. And I'll put splash. And then this one would be, I believe, yeah, let's start off with our quiz. And then um, I like having nice layers because when things are translated into abstract and as a programmer, I'm looking at it and I just see layer one, layer two, I'm like, nope, mm-mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? And why did you name yeah, it I'm layer writing one? all this down. <laughs> it's important stuff to know. <laughs> so yeah, um, so. I usually just try to make sure everything has a name. So this would be the logo. Do you end up having to rename layers for some designers yeah, that you work with? Yeah, because you know, when they actually create their design system, and then you go to maybe their HIG, their yeah. Community Interface Guideline, and they'll name like a card something, like they'll name it card, but in our app, we'll name it something totally different, like panel oh. or something. So we need to keep the same, you know, conventions, the same naming, yeah. so we can stay in cohesion. Do you feel like that's easier or harder with the, like for at a larger company versus like a smaller, smaller team? It's definitely hard when there's more people. However, because design systems are just so prominent now, things already have their names, so right. we're already calling it the correct name anyway. That's good. But if it's something new, um, like for instance, with um, the Heroku, we have like this toolbar, or I guess uh, the actual navigation, but we don't call it navigation, we call mm. it glow stick. Got so it. when I first joined the team, I'm like, what is wow. a glow stick, wow. right? Um, and I didn't know that it was a navigation. So in our um, component library, everything says like glow stick, glow stick, glow stick. And I'm like, just name right. navigation. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, Interesting. it's just those things. It's so what you name up. your layers really, really does matter, <laughs> yes. you guys. You see it. <laughs> it all of this stuff, the reason we can edit it, the ability to edit all these things is here for a reason. Yes. Somebody is going to take it and create <laughs> with it, and they need to know what you're talking about. So oh, yeah. start naming from the beginning. I know that's a hard one. It is. For, for new designers, because you just want to start moving things around and getting creative and getting you know, nailing down your everything when you're a new designer, nailing down just being a designer. And yes. <laughs> naming conventions are like the last thing you learn to do really well, I think. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. When um, I yeah, started, I started. If anyone having... had in the chat has any like tips, any, oh, yeah. any ways that they'd use naming convention, maybe came across a good resource, let us know. Oh, that's a good one. 
Yeah, camel case is another like naming convention that a lot of people use. Camel case? Yeah, um, just like the very first letter capital. Uh, For me, I still don't like it because it's that. It's still capitalizing. Yeah, and then I have to press another button. No, I do not want to press another wow. button. But that's just me. Right, that's just you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a lot yeah, of yeah. people may be like, yeah, well, that's fine. Well, that's the thing is that like, it changes from person to person, yeah. right? Every handoff to a different human, yeah. like you're you're still having to like rewrite. <laughs> exactly. There must be a, they'll, we'll get it down. <laughs> so many things. Oh, I changed the wrong thing. Didn't mean to change that. Can I? Okay, perfect. Yeah. If anyone's just joining us right now, we are working on a, well, Lenore is working on a uh, plant, plant, how would you call it? A plant parenting app, essentially. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a plant app. You're somewhere for you to go and, you know, track how your plant's doing, get some yes. advice. Um, but yeah, and we're having a good time doing it. Right now she's working on some wireframes and yes. she just went through her whole, um, process of how she got here. So yeah, if you are new joining the chat and you want to kind of learn how, what her sis, uh, process was up until this point, definitely you can watch it. Um, we're here for three days, and who knows? We may end in an actual. We may end this stream with an actual working app, yes. which is more than a lot of other <laughs> streams end with. Yes. So that would be awesome. That would be awesome if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna try though. Um, I'm gonna call it Sprout for now, just because I need That's a fine. name. That's fine. Yeah, you call it Sprout. Yeah. <laughs> put Sprout here. Um, yeah, because I always like to make things very personal. Like, why did you come to this thing, and not just um, why did you come here? Like, right. you know, make yeah. it just generic. Um, so yeah, what brings you to Sprout? And these are gonna be those four users that I talked about before. Um, so I'll go ahead and make just a little box. Um, I'll line it up so it can be lined up to this. Usually I like to do, um, sometimes I do eight pixels from the left, mm -hmm. but um, I like a little spacing nowadays. I'm like, I need some some space. Some I really <laughs> like to be like need right. Need some breathing room, yeah. Yep. To, sometimes I'll either do 30 um, but sometimes that's a little bit too far in, so I moved to 20 recently mm. just to get some kind of like even padding around the entire thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but that's just me. This is definitely a wireframe, so right. this doesn't have to be <laughs> <laughs> exact. Preface all this by this yeah. is a wireframe, yeah. which <laughs> totally <Doesn't> forgiven. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All oh, right. man. So let's make a little rounded edge, zoom in a little bit. Um, perfect. And then usually I'll make my buttons at least, definitely had to be more than 45 pixels high. Um, because what has what been said yeah. was our fingers, um, when you press on mobile, our finger width, usual, like average, is 44 pixels. Um, so usually I would make it at least that big so people can actually press on actually it. Actually press it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'll make it 50 though, because people may have big fingers. Yeah, or maybe they have dirt on their fingers. Anything, yeah, just something they're extra. gardening, they're just like, there's long something. Nails. Long nails. Long nails, <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. So, so was, it, was it, what was that number? That's 44 pixels. 44, 44 pixels, everyone. Yeah. has to be higher than that. Or at least 44. Amazing. All right, so let's write some text. Where is it? Oh. It's not the right color, change it to, so now I can like actually create my uh, my fonts and everything like that because I don't, I don't think I did that yet. So let's do that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to our assets. All right, so I at least have the app name. I'll call this one H1. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I need this for that. Okay, and then I'll call this one, I kinda wanna call this body, but I think this is a little bit too big for body. This is just a button for this quiz, and I right. need it to be extra huge just because it's some kind of like call right. action. <laughs> right, and this like the, uh, usually the onboarding feels a little bit different yeah. from the rest of the app regardless, right? Yeah, so. Like you, it's your little, it's like a little fun creative zone. Exactly. It doesn't have to be with the same conventions. No. So I'll leave it alone-ish. I'll put it like at 22. Um, first question, I'm new, um, I'm a new plant parent. 
We don't need the period. Uh, let's make sure this has enough spacing. We can do eight here. Okay. This isn't exactly centered. So. Yes. When, yeah. Yeah, I'm more. Yeah. About this. <laughs> I was <just> like, <laughs> why? Yes, totally. <laughs> Um, so I worked with this amazing designer. He was a coder as well. So whenever I would turn in, I guess, screens like this, he's like, Lenora, would I tell you about this? And I'm like, eh, uh, okay. Um, he's like, yeah, I want you to, you know, put 0.5 so it can be exactly. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So that's what I do now because I rem like, for some reason, like every time he said Lenora, I'm like, oh, okay, 0.5, whatever it is, 0.5. <laughs> You just got to do point five. So yeah, um, I would say do just so it's directly centered. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. So sometimes I don't remember if it's the Y or X. I'm gonna put Y. All right. So now you have the point fives there, and then if I do it again, it's eleven point five on both. Wow. So he was a very stickler. Like you need to get this right and make sure everything is centered. Anyway. Interesting. Interesting. That's that. <laughs> um. So let's get it's amazing ahead. what type of what things stick with us when we're learning. Right? I know. So those learning, those learning moments, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Having a lot of moments like that, just generally with with everything. Yes. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Pretty cool um, request in the chat. Maybe maybe using a voice trigger for some of the for this quiz Ooh. later on. Maybe the third day when you do prototyping. Yeah. Or some yeah voice trigger because just in case the gardener's hands may exactly. be dirty. Exactly. Great idea. I love it. That use case that, you know, you got to just, you know, if you think about it, if you just sit down and think about it and maybe, you know, look at your storyboards one more time yeah. and be like, oh, yeah. I love that idea. I wasn't thinking about voice at all, but that would be a great thing to add. Yeah. Love voice. Have you ever worked with voice yet? I, I've done a couple projects with voice. How about you? How is it, so how is it different f and when it comes to, like... I guess it's a whole different set of skills then like for what you yeah, not not even like actually creating and, and like yeah. engineering it and see for right now most of the I guess voice but we don't really use voice we just use sound ah uh, um, there you go yeah That's so the I haven't there. done voice yet yes 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 but sounds like if I press on a certain button and want it to say ding or you know mm -hmm, make mm -hmm. those little subtle vibrations or whatever the case may be those little small interactions. It'll definitely be more of a sound or a vibration or right. Yeah, right, it won't be right. voice. Yeah. So. so you've done some like haptic. You've yeah, right, right. I've done those things, but not, not voice yet. Yeah, yeah. it's still <laughs> new. It's yet. still new for a lot of people. Yeah. I think it hasn't been completely implemented in a lot yeah. of things just yet. It's happening though. I mean, that's why it's on XD as an option to prototype. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's awesome. play around with it. Yeah. Um, and I also know um, a lot of people are using. A different like a um, what is it called Alexa mm -hmm, mm -hmm, those trainings mm -hmm. that they have there yeah yep and I see it all the time on like um, Instagram everyone's like posting it I'm like oh I'm gonna try it one day yeah, one day looks cool. <laughs> I'm it's not there yet cool. <laughs> all right so we have the quiz um oh I forgot one no one told me I this is oh inspiring. I just wanna just wanna see it yeah. or inspiring plant parents yes. yeah. And if oh, anyone's um, designing right now, currently, or have wants to design with us, why don't you check out the Creative Challenge? Uh, I'm gonna let you keep designing, and then I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the the design feedback countdown is happening right now, you guys. And if you don't know what it is, why don't you check out the daily Creative Challenge we have? If you haven't already, um, it is every day that we have this. Well, not every day. Every day we have the stream usually, and uh, it unlocks daily. Jesse just went on live right before us and talked about repeat grids. And usually you get a little starter file and there's a, definitely a video attached. So please have some fun with this. It's a great way to learn and test your skill and really try something that's already kind of been given to you so you don't have to rack your brain about ideas on how to make something. It's already here, just this is for you to play with. Um, and once you've done that, you can submit it and we'll talk about it right at the end. So that's what that timer is if no one really knows what that is. what that is, I'm sure a lot of people know what that is. This is for the newbies. Um, so yeah, we can't wait to look at them. And then it's us. And then we get to critique yes. you. Can't wait. Nice. Um, 
So yeah, right now I'm just making the wireframe of a camera. Okay, cool. Um, making sure I put a cancel button because that's one thing that I didn't do at first. Um, I forgot all about the cancel button. I'm like, oh, I need a cancel button. Uh, maybe I can just start grabbing these colors instead of doing what I'm doing. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, so if I'm here, like as I was prototyping this wireframe, I clicked here and then I'm like, oh, no, I forgot. I didn't really want to put, I need a reminder. I wanted something else. I couldn't go back. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I need a cancel. To put this cancel, prototyping helped me reveal that for myself. Ah. Yep. That's, that's what happens, you know? That's what happens. So there was a question earlier, mm -hmm. maybe you can answer, around designers need to know code. No. You believe no? No. Um, I do believe they need to know the basics. Mm. I'm not saying they need to be full on <laughs> front end engineers or anything. Right, right. But because um, that's not easy. Trust right, me. Right, right. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm good. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I would say is, you know, because of my transition, I don't know how many people know, but I did transition recently to being a full front end, full time front end engineer. Amazing. And I mean, it's fun, but it's definitely a learning curve. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, this is not what I was thinking. But um, yeah, so during that transition, I kind of learned about the difference between how I used to design and how I design now. Interesting. Just based on touching the code at this point. Um, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so based on if you're using like a single page app or if you're using um, more of the, I guess, 2000 way of designing, the 2000 way of designing was you press a button, it'll give you a whole new page load, and basically you'll have a new, a refresh of a new screen. Right, right. Now it's more componentized, where if you press on a new maybe button or something like that, just that piece would refresh, mm. not the entire application. There won't be any kind of um, page reload. There won't be any kind of like server request, anything. So it's do just, you feel like that's changed your like way you yes, design? Yes, because I don't design page by page anymore. Right, I, oh yeah. wow, that's so fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> so it made me really deep, like dive deeper into design systems at that point, mm. because you really need to make sure that system piece works instead right. of the right. whole, you know? So you're designing smaller to design larger because you yeah. kind of go into yeah because design kind of is it feels like you're you're overviewing you know yeah. maybe things aren't you're not looking directly at like how was this button or how where is that cancel you're exactly. right now especially during wireframes you're yeah. just kind of like planning out yeah but I'm sure I'm, I can only imagine how that's yeah. changed especially going from designer to developer oh versus. My gosh. Some people go the opposite, you know? Yeah, yep, exactly. So. Yeah. And I've seen like um, applications like LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is the, I think, the largest um, single app website that's around. Mm. So if you go on, you know, a certain, like the feed, it'll keep refreshing. Everything else stays the same. Right. Facebook as well. Right. Twitter as well now. Right. Um, just the feed will refresh, but everything on the side, the news, whatever, stay the same. Um, but the feed will just keep updating. So yeah, I learned a lot recently about how to like stop designing like that, you know, page reload type of designing. That's not the word for it, but that's the way I call it. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Let's make this, let's group it. Modular design, Joe yes. says. Yep, Thank that you, is Joe. the word, yep. Yeah, that's what I wanna get into tomorrow. Um, Atomic design. Okay. And it really goes into detail on how to um, break up your design system. So you start off with the atoms and it goes to the molecules and it just goes to the like smaller but smaller pieces of the puzzle and how all those things work together. Um, Brad Frost talked about it and I'm like, oh yes, this book is something that I feel like everyone should read for sure. And um, it tells you how to break out your design system in an in incredible way. Okay, so that's tomorrow. Everyone, yes. we have homework. We have to we have read homework. this book <laughs> called Atomic Design. The whole thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to quiz you. <laughs> so good. We love tests. <laughs> I'm not sweating. Um, Marissa says, understanding how code works has really helped, beco um, helped becoming a UX designer. I know it's possible to I know it is possible for developers and also helps with my relationship with developers. Yes. So being able to like t speak each other's language is huge. Yeah. And I agree. Maybe you don't need to know everything every single way something moves or works, but having mm -hmm. an overview over what could 
what is a realistic way it could work is important. Totally agree. I, I my, my favorite thing I ever did was I was working at a startup and we were, I'm sure this happens all the time, but it was one of these things where it was my first time doing it. We co-designed with yes. one of our front end so we, each designer got paired with the front end. Yes. And it was the best. See? It was so fun. So fun, because there, I just remember, uh, her name was, uh, her name was Jules, and she was like, I don't, this isn't, and I was like, what, what? And it was like, it was hard at first. Yeah. A lot of these errors that I was making as a, a new designers, but immediately could go back and be like, two or th three days later, be like, oh, I, I got you. I know how to, exactly. I know what you need. and. So much fun, so much yeah. fun. And you can see it get built in front of you. Yes. That's the most important thing. It's like seeing this thing work and work well so you can show it to someone else. And exactly. Make it work. That's basically what I do every day now, um, which I love. Do you co, co design? Yeah, wow, designers. that's so cool. Yeah, I, I mean, that. I know them, so right. they were my teammates. <laughs> wow. So now to be on the other side, I'm like, oh, come on, y'all. You um, must be such an essential piece to that. To your workflow, just knowing the designers. Oh yeah, and being able to bridge that gap. Yeah, because I can just call them anytime. Like, hey, um, I need some, I need some guidance. <laughs> I need right. you to tell me, you know, what would your decisions be? Like, here? I How? can see what you're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, sometimes I'm wrong. Right. Sometimes I'm not thinking of it right. Oh really? Yeah. So it's kind of like we, you know, we go back and forth. It's kind of like, wow, I didn't think of it like that. Okay, I agree. <laughs> Let's make it like that. Okay, I love so, yeah, that. Always I love like. That going back and forth and you know it's all in good faith so everyone's there to help no one's there to like bash anyone it's right, kind of like right. do what you want to do however let's talk about it let's make sure that we all agree so. which I'm sure is hard is like not as common though in some <laughs> of these team spaces right <laughs> agreeing yeah and knowing like also what I mean, how amazing. What, what humility you have around, <laughs> around some things. I know there are a lot of designers who will not accept when they're design is critiqued and I know a lot of developers who will be like this I will not make this work yeah but it's like but can you I can't no <laughs> I will not so vice like versa you got to just be able to cooperate and know each other's languages I think yeah. is, the, is the the summation of what we're talking about exactly. right now and then also just know that everyone's on the same team <laughs> like we're all trying to common good yeah, yeah and we're, we're just trying, trying to make work. this thing work and go yep. home at a reasonable time <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's it all right, wanna make sure all of these are named properly. I usually like go back and make sure. Okay, photo album, flip camera, all right. Okay, this is good. All right, so for now we have our splash screen, we have our quiz, and then uh, remember this flow that we're trying to create is for the new plant parent. So if they click on the new plant parent, the second, well, the third screen you get is a camera, and you could take a picture of your new plant, and it will identify this plant. So let's make the fourth screen. That's more of the um, yes, you've identified this plant. Um, we know what it is. Let's move on. Or the not so happy path where you have to search. Um, we can probably do the not so happy path now, just so we can already have it. Because I feel like that's more stuff to design than. Of the happy path. Yeah, yeah. So I will name this one um, happy path. Happy path, no dashes. <laughs> <laughs> See, this part's okay. Like the artboard name. Right, is artboard okay, name's okay. Yeah. But like the layers is when it's kind of like, uh, uh, what was that you tried to do? Right. Um, and then the actual file names. Okay, so layers and file names. Yeah, to me, it's kind of like. Artboards are fine. Name the artboards, whatever. Yeah, name okay, whatever. Okay, great. It's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, because you can actually see what's there. Now, some people, they usually name their artboards in like a, you know, this is the dashboard, and this dashboard is a part of the app profile. And, mm. You know, they have these little things. So Like uh, trying to maintain flow in their yeah, own, in in the, work as well. Yeah, exactly. I've done that. I've, yeah. I've done that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like looking at it from abstract, you can see, oh, this is what this is for. I see. So you'll know exactly what you're designing or developing for. Um, all right. So then we have the not so happy path. All right. I realized that I named this capital. 
I'm gonna not name it that. I'm gonna name this camera. I just like lowercase names. No I mean, one has to do that. For good for good reason though. Like <laughs> now I understand. See, all I now I speak the language. A little bit. Not so much. <laughs> Alright, so oh, I wanna start with not happy bath. So this one, um, we can take the same name here. I mean, we can also add that from the asset thing, but whatever. <laughs> this is... Yeah, fun. no, that works too. Yeah. Um, this one is, sorry, um, we couldn't find your plant. Sad. Yeah, sad face. Yeah, it's not so happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe I can add like some kind of um, text underneath to tell you know the user search. So we could go back to a regular font because I don't need it to be that bold. Um, make it a little smaller as well. 20 pixels is fine. Um, go back to, what is this called? Snow hover over here. Oh, yep. Point text and area text. Okay, so go back to point text and then we can say, um, search for your plant mm. instead. Mm. So from there, you could create some type of form field. Remember, form fields need to be at least 44 pixels high. Um, I love how you, I, I love the, <laughs> the little tidbits you give us for that. You're like, okay guys, remember this? And we're oh like, us, I just feel like the, uh, the teacher in me. The, I feel like the designer in class was like, no. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <sighs> you know, I'm not, I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard class. Oh yeah. For me. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like a lot of your teaching, um, experience, do you feel like you get to use that? Oh, yeah. And what you're doing and kind of like your even your presence online. Yeah. Yeah. My presence online is all about teaching. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. I'm always on there talking about something. Right. And <laughs> recently I've started this like YouTube thing. I'm like, oh, I'm going to just make this little app. And wow. Yeah. I did it like on live uh -huh. and everyone was in there like, oh my God, this is great. You know, here's how to build it. Blah, 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 do this. Oh, maybe just try this. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is different. People are hungry. Yeah. People I'm are like, hungry for knowledge. Great. Yeah. Totally. There is a thirst out there. I loved it. Kiki says you can tell you're a teacher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's great. That's, That's good. my thing. Um, so with shadows. Yes. Tell us about shadows. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like, oh my god, what? What, what next? Um, with sh uh, shadows, I never choose black. Right. Ever. Um, yeah. So I usually pick three, 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 three. Is that six? Okay, yes. Um, and then I'll usually give it like a 30% just to give it um, more of a slight but subtle type of feel. Mm -hmm. um, even 25 is fine too. Um, but if you follow this guy, his name is Steve Scroger on Twitter. Um, he is that middle ground like me, that designer, but dev. He started with dev and he's like, I really want to understand design. I hate all my designs. I want to be great when it comes to freelancing and I suck. Mm -hmm. How do I learn design? So he literally created his entire career after wanting to learn more about design. And I love his work because I think he speaks from like the developer perspective, but he also speaks from a design perspective too. Yeah. So he talks about like in nature, you know, your shadows are, um, it's not exactly the way a lot of people design. So I think the- Interesting. Let me create a new box. Um, so if I click on shadow now, the standard is 036. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, that's not natural when it comes to when you see shadows in real life, because right. I'm looking at that shadow there. Right. And I'm like, oh, okay, so you need to kind of think about how you're going to position the shadow. Um, and he told his followers the best way to position shadows is to use more of a zero two four okay. method. Okay, okay. Um, because if you look at it in his perspective now, Interesting. it looked more natural. Um, more natural. When it, I love these conventions. Yeah. I love, I love, Borrowing from nature. Yeah. I love that different people have like thought of these things. Exactly. Um, Cause yeah. yeah. And 
And I'm sure, I'm sure like as design goes on, you know, we're not gonna be looking, we're gonna be looking at these designs, maybe not on something like a phone. Yeah. Maybe it's gonna be something that does live like outside like nature. Yes. Maybe it'll be displayed, you know, in the world. And maybe exactly. we do need our shadows to mimic nature a little bit better. I love that. I love this, um, this idea. Yeah. You have a lot of gurus that you like. You have that your lot of, you have a lot yeah. of people that you have you draw from. Yeah, it's great. It's re like it's funny. I think I got a message yesterday. Like, oh, have you ever had a mentor? Well, not on paper. Yeah, but I've had some. True. You know, <laughs> that yeah, I like, follow. Does my community count? Uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, like, I have a lot of people that I follow, and I'm like, wow, this person's so great. I mean, I wouldn't. Well, I was told recently to try my hand at going into someone's DM and saying, hey, do you mentor? Oh. Because um, this person found an amazing mentor like that. Oh, and really? they're like, don't be scared to do it. I'll try it. And I'm just like, uh, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> it's hard. I'll do it one day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard. I wonder, you know, I feel like a lot of people probably take, um, I feel like the way you've learned a lot of these tech trades now is through places like yes. YouTube and maybe yeah. like Adobe Live. Yeah. Plug, plug. You're on <laughs> Adobe Live. Um, but, you know, a mentor, like a person to guide you, I feel like that's so, it's so it's amazing, but it's so yeah. intimate, but it's also, we're not, we're not together as much like yeah. that, you know, and maybe you're on the other side of the world and you're a mentor, maybe just you doing your own thing is and people kind of That's following enough. what you're doing well, maybe enough for some people <laughs> to consider you a mentor yeah so yeah yeah that's how kind of like i was i'm like i don't really need someone like every day sure, 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 and sure, i don't sure, want to sure. take most of their time or anything because i may not want to talk to them that day or whatever um but i do want to be able to reach out whenever and a lot of times that's reaching out via um sure. watching their tutorials or the right. courses like the Steve Scroger. I literally follow a guy, never say anything to him. Um, I just stalk. Yeah. Love it. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's fair. People are you just learn in different ways these things. People pick up these things in different ways. Exactly. Um, so I do this thing. <laughs> where I just like make Yeah, you just icon. made your little icon. I was gonna say something but I was like, oh it's yeah, I get it. Make yeah, icon. I'm just like whatever. Is there a reason? Is there more of a is um, it better for you as I, I'm trying to plug it back into you being a developer in some way, but no. I don't know. No, it's just because it's faster. Maybe. Just because it's faster. Got it. I'm got like, it. whatever. That's okay. I mean, um, I'll just make not? this. And uh, I kind of like, even when I use, you know, when I actually create, I guess, mm -hmm. mock ups, I'm always creating my own icon. Well, now you can I just do. Well, now you can bring it, bring it, bring in, it right in. And there. now you have your icon, exactly. boom, and your component yeah. as your component. Done. Done. Perfect. Easy. It's almost too easy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have an idea over what you want this to look like, and you're like, I've. It's easier for me to do yeah. it myself than it is to go and, and find, find the perfect oh. icon and like bring it in. And, and I just maybe did some that of the line weights are weird. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. So I can make it a little bit smaller because yeah. a little honky. Nice. Yeah, so speaking uh -oh. of mentors, you guys, we have about nine nine minutes until you could have some feedback on some of your designs. Um, thinking of mentorship, we have a lot of really great people in in Discord ready to mentor you, figuratively and literally, uh, through your designs. So do not wait, act, and be a part of our awesome design community in Discord. If you look right above the chat, there should be a tab up there waiting for you. All right, perfect. I did this thing. Let me make sure everything is locked. Because usually if it's not locked and you try to resize it, it won't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right, so now that's a solid, well, almost a solid one. Let me see. Nah, it's not doing it. All right. Mm. Now I gotta figure out this. Let me ungroup it. Start over. Maybe it's because Take you it put it as Union? a component. Did I oh. act too quick to make it a component itself? Maybe that's why it's being so hmm. finicky. Let's try that. Let's go back to here. Delete this. Go here. Let's see if it does it now. 
Uh oh. All right. So now I gotta lock it back. Oh, these are locked. This is locked. Why is it moving like that then? Interesting. Hmm. Cause it's not like staying solid. Huh. These are the real. This is the real nitty. This is the real nitty gritty. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm finding things. This is great. <laughs> no, but um. We can leave it like this. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It looks great. I won't make it a union. Let me remove the union. All right, perfect. Let's put it in the middle. I'm just being an extra perfectionist, that's all. I mean, that's hey, I one of the biggest questions I see in the chat is when to, how to know when to stop designing. Um, like stop designing for just like yeah, like when you're like you just kind of what we're doing. Like we can both probably look at that for like another ten <laughs> minutes and be like, okay, let's figure this out. When yeah. do you just kind of step away? I feel like it's got to be different for you because so much of your work does have to be perfect, yeah. right? As a developer versus a designer, I'm sure that flow or when to like you feel like you can let go of it versus I really can't let go of it yeah. is different. So for me, there's a few methods that I have. So I usually do like the Pomodoro method mm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I have this like um, sand thingy Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. on my desk Love and that. I would like turn it because if I'm working too long on something and I know I'm working too long on it, I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm going to give this 30 more minutes, that's it. And I'll flip that thing over and I'm like, all right, go in. And then as soon as that's over, I'm like, oh, well, I didn't get it. It's okay. I'm going to push up whatever I have which is what I do. I push it up on GitHub. The next day I'll go to my um, my senior teammates and I'm like, hey, I need a pairing session because this piece right here, I can't really figure it out. And even in design, we had like design feedback so channels. So it forces you to give what you have, walk away, yep. and then ask for help. Yep. Wow, there you go. Yep. There it is. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, Pomodoro method. I have a lot of friends. I mean, I and I like, I'll do like a timer. Yeah. But like I don't have a sand timer, yeah. but you know, and I don't think I'd even do like twenty. I'll do like fifteen because yeah. I need to even be more finite with my time. But yeah, um, yeah, that's great. I don't do twenty either. It depends on if I'm doing design, I'll do fifteen. But if I'm doing coding, I'll do forty-five. Oh, I bet. Know the reason why? I bet. <laughs> Just I coding bet. takes longer. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes complete sense. Yeah, a lot yeah. more prep work. All right, so let us do our. Perfect. So we, this little piece was all around, let's take this border off, was all around trying to figure out if I don't know the name of my plant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could I put like, it's a palm, and then it gives me a list of all different types of palms, and I can kind of like filter out right. um, based on maybe the picture. I can look through pictures and see which one is, you know, my plant. Um, but yeah, I'm going to basically create that now just like different search results. Let me see how wide this is. It is, let's make it an even number. Um, let's make it 100 for now. And then let's make it at least eight pixels in between. You know what you should use is the- The um, repeat grid? Repeat grid. Yeah. I love right. the repeat grid. Only because I love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so perfect. We have that, but I wanted to here and can I and like, I also said that because the creative challenge today is repeat grid so perfect okay just right online with all of the everyone in the chat making their own perfect could I um so like can, resize it from here too so you can resize the so you have to go to the original one that you had at the beginning okay and here. you can resize and yes and it should follow oh, so then you also have to figure okay. you have to have to do your margins as well yeah that's what I was yeah but it usually is like the first one you use all right or you've created uh -oh. Okay, so I'll make these like here, and then you said the first one. Yeah. Oh, and oh. then I'll have to. I think if you hover over the margin, it like creates a. Oh. Um. Okay. Or maybe you need to make this smaller so you can reach. So yeah. You can, like actually. Huh. Oh, oh there. there it is. All right, so maybe you need to make it. Bigger. Maybe I need to do my math first <laughs> so I can figure out what it needs to be. You know what? Let me do it this way. Yeah. Let's see. That's fine. Do, do it. Do it however your way you're comfortable. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, this, this is, is good. Nice. It was it was good because you know at the end of the day, this is us using these tools and yes. learning how to make, use them. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people in the chat, if you're doing the repeat grid challenge today, probably hit the same exact yeah, same issue, probably. right? Like, for sure. This is how I usually do it. Um, oh, let me make sure it's eight in between. It's eight. All right, so I usually like size it like that, mm -hmm. and then it snaps, of course. And then it snaps here, and then I just delete these. <laughs> I know this is like a round. No, there way. you go. There you, oh, um, I like that. I liked it though. Yeah, but it works. And I go ahead and do my um, rounded edges. Yeah, I have a friend who just keeps a box, like a, a size, yeah. like pixel, maybe like five pixel, um, like icon somewhere on her artboards at all time, and just like use it or whatever. Whatever dimension she's using, she'll just like keep a little box and just like pull it in exactly. and size it up. And I'm like, wow, it's yeah, so so much easier, so much easier <laughs> to already just have it ready. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so now I can do it. So it should yeah. be sized. Thanks, Sam, for posting the challenge to, uh, link up in the chat. You guys, we're almost we're almost there. So everyone, submit your creative challenge. I see a couple. So hopefully, so. I think we'll have some to talk about. Perfect. And I'm very excited. Can't wait. All right, so now. Diego, Diego has some, some math information that he how, how he uses. Normally measure the width minus the margin, and then I divide the number yeah. or squares I want. And I'm yeah. sure that's math that, that you do as well. Yeah, yeah I usually do that. But, um, but now we're that live. I'm on the camera, yeah, I yeah. can't count. It's <laughs> amazing. It's so funny. I can't, I can't count. count off camera, so that works. <laughs> It's still a little bit off, but whatever. We're not gonna judge me or no, us. never, never. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're making squares on it. <laughs> we're making squares. You know? Is it awesome? All right. So from here, I like to not use lorem epsom. Um, I like to create my own, like actual content, because it goes along with that feel that I was going for. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I want to feel when I'm here on the screen? Um, so of course this will just say like search uh, search by plant name or something and then I could probably make this smaller because placeholder text is never that big I mean even the search icon is not that big but whatever we're gonna keep wireframe yep <laughs> <laughs> Marissa says it's a judgment free zone yes Absolutely. judgment free all right I want it to be like a little bit lighter all right, so this is how much pixels from here? It's not telling me on this one. Let's look at our layers, making sure. All righty, we are there. We've done it. Your design feedback countdown is has struck, and we are going to talk about some daily creative challenges. Here we go. Ooh. So Travis submitted his uh, his work for today. Oh, love it, it looks like the majority of what the creative challenge was today was using your peak grid. Mm, let's just talk about it. So Perfect. Um, here we go. We have some repeat grid use. I love it. Yeah, I'm just zooming in a little bit. Totally, totally. Probably there you go. One, two, all these probably were made yes. with repeat grid. Um, do we have any comments about margin? Something you've kind of talked about before. If you were to someone were to give you this as a developer, what would yeah. you what would your feedback be, I guess? So like for me, I would definitely give like the recipe name and category just a little bit more spacing in between. Because mm -hmm. um, it's almost kind of hitting a little bit. Um, just give it more overall white space. Because everything is kind of like in its um, Everything's like kind of close, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would just say give it more spacing. I love the picture placement, of course, because mm -hmm. usually people read from left to right, so you can see those um, photos first, and then it's like, oh, I like that. Okay, let me go look at the, you know, the recipe name. Um, so I would also kind of make those pictures a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, I yeah. want to see more of the picture. Yeah, like maybe, yeah, maybe like lead with photo. Who yeah, knows? yeah. And if you're using repeat grid, you know, all of those. Si resizing and and things you have to do with um, changing changing names all can happen within this first like 
I, uh, component of your peak grid, yeah. right? So if you want to move out this image to maybe be half of it, or maybe you want to, you know, open up your your kind of box a little bit more coming mm -hmm. down, that all can happen at at that first one. So cool. So yeah. so work on that one, and we'll we'll ship it off and have it made. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> we love the colors. I love the colors I too. I do like I like your color scheme and yeah. really great way to kind of you know display making yep. a really great case study right off the bat. Okay. That's always been hard for me is like yeah. making it. Making Limits. the case study right after you've made yeah. it, right? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So that was today. And you guys, I'm not seeing a lot here today from ya, which is okay. <laughs> That's fine. We get it. We understand. Things are happening. Things are happening. Yes. That's all good. If uh, a couple more come up, I'll go into them. Um, but you know, we can probably go back to you designing. All right. And you know, we'll definitely have some tomor more tomorrow. Perfect. I know some people are probably just kind of sitting on them. Maybe they're not perfect, but <laughs> some tips, put a timer on yourself, yes. submit what you have, get the feedback, and then before you know it, you're done and you have something amazing. Yes. I will totally say yes to that. Yeah. For sure. I think for the Daily Creative Challenge, it's a great example of like time, what yes. you can do with your time because it's... be equal. All right. Yeah, I'm just making sure all these like measure out right. I shouldn't do this, especially not for a wireframe, <laughs> but I'm just, this is just me. You can't, we can't, you know, this is, this is you. This is who you are. <laughs> this, is this is about you. All right. Oh, Diego says we're at work. People are still working. We know you're still working. That is Don't true. worry about it. Everyone keep working, but you know. Hey, Frank. So I used to work with him and he knew the guy I was talking about that was like, make sure it's right in the middle. Like mm -hmm. he was our mm -hmm. boss, so like, yeah. Hey Frank, nice to see you. Hi Frank. Welcome, welcome to the chat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so tomorrow, Jesse's gonna be on doing another creative uh, creative challenge for us and then the next day as well. And so I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot more things to talk about yeah. tomorrow. And yeah, I know this chat. I know you guys are working on them right <laughs> now and you're like, I don't know, I don't know. Come on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I can grab Frank says hi. Uh-oh. Not that many. Let me make it smaller. <laughs> See, that's what this repeat grid is all about. You told me this. And yes. I'm just like, it's all yeah, the it's first not... one. Yeah. yeah. This is good. This, this is, is good. good, though. Yeah. There you go. Oh, this is Maybe great. doing like a plant name. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say like palm or whatever. I need to look up plant names because I don't know all of them. <laughs> let's give it eight, okay. And then let's put um, palm. Maybe I could. Okay, so we could. All right, so palm. Um, let me think of something else. Um, daisies. <laughs> Daisies. Um, um, let's see. Um, vines. Let's do. Oh, just so you're doing categories. Yeah, just like categories of different plants. I mean, daisy is probably not a category. It's probably flower. I don't know. What's a category for daisies? Flowering. Flowers. Flower. This, some plants are only flowering yeah. or flowers. Um, maybe, maybe you have like a. So maybe someone, one of your plants bears fruit. Mm. Right, maybe like a fruit bearing, uh, vines, palm, bearing. indoor. Yes, indoor, indoor outdoor. That kind of that's one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, mm. That's another way to categorize these plants. <laughs> I think you probably. I mean, these are probably good, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can just stop here. <laughs> There's so yeah. many, obviously, yeah, but like, you know, ah. we could we could probably go on. That's a whole different stream. Okay, let's yeah. just put some lore maps. In. <laughs> I um, hate let's lore see. Maps you could though. do I could do outdoor because we have um, indoor. Okay, and outdoor, right? Some people indoor, like to keep their plants outside. Maybe, maybe succulents. Succulents are great. Those are also in the aloe family, I believe. Oh, right, and this is somewhere different. No, no, no. This is great. Oh, okay. I'm agreeing. Okay. <laughs> um, cactus too. Cactus. I think cactus, cactus is a, outdoor. Cactus, my, I think a cactus is a succulent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'll just call it succulent. And then we have 
maybe low water. Okay. We're not doing like we're not doing it by like species names. I think we're doing it more of like category names. I don't yeah. know if that's okay. No, that's fine. Okay. This is, yeah. This okay. Maybe going then for. maybe more of ones that are like low sunlight or yeah. Because like at that point these are like can... what I think of my indoor. I'm thinking of all my plants. Yeah. And how they're and the how they're picky. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we have our not so happy path. Mm, sorry, we couldn't find your plant. Search for your plant instead. Search by name, and then you have the different categories. Okay, cool. Maybe I can name that categories, because right now it doesn't really have a name. Um, we can grab this, and then um, call it category, make it bold. Make it a little bit smaller. Your wireframes are like much neater than my wireframes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm not really spacing them out right, which is not, it's bothering me, but whatever, it's okay. I'll spoken live. Like a, spoken like a true designer. <laughs> Wait, how do you do um, letter spacing? Oh, um, I believe Maybe it's, it's this one? E. No? Okay. Here I can go and double check. I know that's the line. Really, I would think it's one of those. Oh, oh character spacing. Character spacing. Okay. Okay, yeah, it is moving. You just have to be a little bit higher. Just so subtle. Yeah. You can't see the movement. Yeah. I see. Uh-oh. Did not mean that. Let's try 100 then. Oh, mm. that's kind of artsy. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. It's a, it's a wireframe. Ew. Yeah, I'll play with that later. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Cool. Great. All right, happy path. So we have our plant at that point. Uh, let's make it even. What's the, the shortcut for uh, going back to the, this, the pointer? V. V. Okay, cool, all right. I really like how you use the hover to actually like learn the, the tips. <laughs> yeah. And that's something I do appreciate with a lot of the uh, all the Adobe products, actually. Yeah. I feel like that's how I learned. You just kind of like hover. Yeah, I exactly. I don't have that anymore. I don't know. Maybe because people think everyone knows those shortcuts. Not everyone knows those oh, shortcuts, no. guys. Keep those. I keep those it. hovers. All right. So we have this. We can pull in our H1. Let's go back to H1 here. Let's press this. H1. I guess you can drag it. Oh, I didn't know you could. You yeah, can you can drag, drag it. it. Yeah, you should be able to drag it. Uh, maybe because I'm. Yeah, actually, I think you might not be able to because you need text. You need like a text. Mm, okay, block. so I need one already. Yeah. So let's write this and then press it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Cool. Congratulations. Uh, so you don't like to write in a lorem, lorem ipsum either. I like that. I don't. No. I don't like lorem ipsum as well. Because I mean, it, if I give it to someone or if I show it during an executive meeting, and I'm like, so here's the design. They're like, so what's happening here? Yeah, yeah, I can't. <laughs> no one can find that. I hope no one's using Laura Ipsum anymore. I would think if they watch enough of these streams, they would know. Yeah. Use your own copy. You can do it. Even if it's not the best, you can. You can write out something. Yes. Um, Welcome home, new plant baby. Um, let me squeeze this in. Uh-oh. Lindsay is saying hello, good night. Good night. But maybe it's <laughs> nighttime. Yeah, over there probably. <laughs> All right. Welcome home, plant baby. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. And what's your name? Maybe I could put what's your name? And we already, oh, we don't have, oh yeah, we have this. So I can just make that an input field. Love it. Already have it, use it again. Yeah. And I probably need to make this a component. When I start reusing things over and over, I'm yeah. like, that needs to be a component, that yeah. needs to be a component. So I try to uh, remember when I do that. Because I know with the company that Frank and I worked at, um, we were actually building out the very first design system they had. Oh, wow. So it was like ground up, just trying wow, to figure out wow, wow. what are our buttons? Or are these our buttons? Are we agreeing that these are buttons? <laughs> yeah, so very fun times. Building out a design system, my goodness. <sighs> 
Yeah, very fun. It's like it's like of all the things you check off to be like designer or to yeah. like you do, building or helping build a design system, as frustrating and hard as it is, it's like it's something you have to say you've done and do, and do it yeah. and and use it. Yes. Maintain and help it. Maintain it. Help <laughs> people use it. Teach it. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole different. It's a whole yeah. different field. Designing for designers. Um, we've had a couple. I've definitely had some guests who uh, we've talked about like designing for designers and yeah. what that what that means, what that feels like. Um, but here you are. You're designing for designers with the mindset of a designer. <laughs> yeah. And a developer. Yeah. It's a lot of different angles. Love a it. lot of different angles. But I mean, it, it meshes so well though, because it's sure. just like. It's not that much different. Absolutely. Because we're absolutely. all like designers at the end. To me, we're all designers because, you know, the front end uh, developers, they're thinking in like a very design architecture kind of way. Right. They're thinking about right. how to lay out their code, yep. how to make it, you know, readable, comment it right. To me, that's all design. Um, but yeah. Love it. Um, I needed like a font in the middle, not so bold, but see, this is why you probably don't need to use <laughs> Mutt Serret. And you probably need to go for maybe a San Francisco, because I think San Francisco has so many different versions. Tons. Yeah, they have the mono font, the pro display, the text. We'll make that decision later. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely for font, you can think about it later. Yeah. Tomorrow's stream is all about, you know, Make it look gorgeous oh, yeah. and applying colors oh, and vibing yeah. out and feeling good. Yes. Let's yeah. But I will button. say some of the most neat wireframes I've ever seen <laughs> here oh on the gosh. stream to share. Oh my gosh. When, I, making... when I did my stream, I was like, good, go, crop. Like, <laughs> like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like it was, no. Oh my gosh. Which is, you know, it's okay. It's my process. It's okay. Totally. Seriously. It is, literally, right? It's just how you do things. Yes. I do want to, um, ask you about your your resources mm. that you have up on your website. I want to plug your website. Well, you can keep designing. I'm going to plug your website a little bit. <laughs> All right. We can move to my screen really quick. I want to yeah. give show the world kind of what you, if you want, you know, in between this three-day stream, you're going to see a lot of Lenora. But if you want to see her after the stream or get some resources and tools and tricks of yes. hers, she's got a slamming good website, you guys. <laughs> it's dope, and it's got such great um, resources. So it's, and I feel like everyone needs to read these books. Yeah. I love Creative Confidence. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It taught me so much, especially about showing my work, so. Yeah. 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 So if anyone, if anyone needs, needs any resources, I know I always ask. I always ask whoever I'm yeah. hosting, you have any books? People need to read more books, and you definitely yeah. have the books. So yeah, I just, just wanted to plug away. Before my Instagram, um, I mean, before the live, I posted on Instagram about six books, oh, like nice. design system books. Nice. So I'm like, if anyone wants to learn before I get on my live stream, here everything is. Love it. Um, learn as much as you can before I start talking. <laughs> but yeah, those are definitely some good resources. And then there's also some resources around podcasts, like design podcasts. Here on your... Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, just keep yeah, going. Yeah, podcast, and there's sort of like some code stuff at the bottom, some awesome UX. This is a great podcast. Oh have you gosh. ever listened to Wireframe? I have. I have. Wow, did I have? I think I have it on there. No? Oh, oh I don't. Wow, that's that's the one to have yeah, on the Adobe stream. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I should definitely have that. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, totally. I I'll love. Be adding it. And then, oh, and then case studies. Yeah, case studies that I really, really love. Oh my gosh, in courses? Yeah, courses that I found that's free. Dude, yeah. this is sick. <laughs> I'm like, have it all. Um, oh my some God. coding stuff around Kearney. It's all about just like getting the information out and yeah. you're getting the information out. Oh, and coding games. Yeah, learning CSS and like Flexbox and things that I use. What a freaking resource. What a wealth of knowledge. This is dope. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for keeping it on my screen. You can go back. All right. So congratulations. Welcome to your new home. What is your plant's name? Um, I'm trying to think what I want to name this button. Um, maybe I should just say, what is your plant's name? Maybe I should just put um, continue. Sure. Because this is not the end. 
This is not the end. This is just the beginning. <laughs> this is just the first day. This is not the end. And with that being said, because we have so many screens, like as a user, I'll be like, so when is this done? So maybe I should put some kind of progress bar um, so people know how long this onboarding process will progress be. Progress bar would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. We can just like knock that out now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're coming towards the end. We're not quite there yet. So you have some time. Okay. But we're we're getting there. We're about ten minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you could probably definitely bust out a progress bar in ten minutes yeah. for sure. Yeah. We definitely do that. All right. Let's make it perfect, and then make it our color. Cool. And then this one, let's put 12. This one will take our, uh, let's see. I don't have a white, I need a white. Let's add a white here, perfect. Boom. And then I like to have the border as well because um, accessibility wise, sometimes like um, people can't, they probably can't see the white on the gray this is just the wireframe, but white on gray is definitely not something you can see. But if you add a border, yeah, they'll be able to see it better. Totes, totes, totally. All right, so all right, so far, so far we have this. This is step one. Two, camera is a step. No, I say camera is a step, be, yeah, I would yeah. say so. Yeah. Okay, so two, three. This is third step, and then our fourth step. Let me look at my notes. Oh, fourth step is just that user creating their account. So right now you're giving the plant a space, but the next thing is giving yourself a space. So I'm Cassandra or I'm Lenora, mm -hmm. um, putting some identifier on you. So yeah, let's make a little line. Do you use the line tool or the rectangle? Uh, line tool. Cool. I always use the rectangle. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna give me a reason for it, and, I know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna use that from now on. <laughs> so, <laughs> the same guy I told you about before. Yeah, yeah. He's a stickler, so he was just kind of like, if you use the line tool, you can't ever create anything else with it. Oh, that's true. It's just a line. That's true. But if it's like a rectangle, you can always make it a circle or make it whatever. You can always that's reuse true. it instead of like, uh, yeah. deleting it and recreating the line again. True. Sure. Sure. Um, but that's just him. <laughs> Still good feedback though. Definitely. Um, now um, where is the back? Irene asks, which by the way, you guys, thanks for you know sticking around with us and <laughs> doing your things. Um, Irene asks, how long, how many hours does it take to design an app? Ooh, to really, it's a, that's a yeah, that's, that's a, a big real question. big question. <laughs> Yeah, it depends. it depends, which is the worst answer, right? Yeah. Like it's, the, but it's true. It is so true. Um, some things, like if it's just very small, it doesn't really have too much integration. It's just maybe an app to just view things. It might be a little faster to create that. But if it's something like it needs to integrate with something, it needs to actually create an account, it needs to add pictures, it needs to. <sighs> God knows, it's really months. it's months, <laughs> months possibly, months. and and you know people are still working on things after a year, really. So it really yeah. just depends. In terms of like wireframing a an app or an app idea, that that could that could be really short, actually. Yeah. That could be only a couple hours, maybe in a tool like XD, yeah. and just plugging away, doing using components that maybe you haven't made, right? Yeah, using a design system that's already established for you or a UI kit, you can bust out a good idea oh, yeah. really fast. Um, I'd say a couple hours, maybe a day. Totally agree. Give you a day, but an eight hour work day, but it just depends on how disciplined you are as well as a designer. Um, so yeah, we're in about five minutes till maybe at some point when you're, when, you're, when you're ready, we can do like a recap of the day Perfect. and then we can get like an intro of what we're doing tomorrow. Awesome. I love it. I love this is a three day. This is good. Yes. This is great. <laughs> Just chill out. Um, you have one plant in your garden. Let's create. Um, wait, like, what did I put? Let's save your profile. So, hmm, I was going back and forth on this. Perfect. You have one plant in your garden. Let's save your profile. 
Um, I just think that's just like, oh. um, because a piece of me kind of wants to just put, um, just let's save your profile and sure. not the plant part, because mm -hmm. you know that in the previous step mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. just saved your plant. So I'm gonna remove that. Great. Um, I don't think I need it. And let me make sure I line it up with this. This is, what is that, 30? 90, okay. 90. All right, and then 20 on the sides. All right, let's save your profile. What's your name? And then we'll need a, um, what's your email? Mm. Standard. I'll put full name. I like it, having the sign in at this point, kind of like, yeah, yeah. We kind of, you know, you're already invested. You're yeah. already invested in this Did app. all that. You did all <laughs> of it. Yeah, and there's so many different ways to kind of do this flow of, of onboarding. Yeah. So many different strategies on how to onboard. And, yes. Um, that's great. All right. Awesome, cool. Why don't you give us a little recap and then we can okay. talk about tomorrow. So we've just finished out an initial onboarding. This is just for the new plant parent. So not for any other parent yet. <laughs> um, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, so after this, what we'll need to do is move on to actually creating a design system. We already kind of created some things already. We created them around, you know, creating the actual wireframe. So these are just black and white, but we can easily go back in here and change these colors up. We can easily go back and um, add more color, add more patterns, add more illustrations that will be coming tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just creating that design system, creating more of high fidelity layout here and um, adding more to our flow. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Awesome, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I mean, tomorrow's gonna be great. I always love, you know, second day, it's always, you know, beautiful and colorful. But the best part about the stream is we get a third day. So yeah. it's like the practicality level, really, we get to move that up a notch, so. I'm stoked. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming and being here, and I'm excited to hang out. Chat, thanks for being so great. We're still brainstorming a lot of names. Um, so come on back, do a creative challenge with us, hang out for a couple hours, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. All right, see you guys. Bye.